Hey, praise them. What's going on, everybody? Hallelujah. And uh, we're praising the Lord early in the morning here, man. It's the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Look, as Christian brothers and sisters, listen to me. A message from the Holy Spirit this morning. You know, God has put on my heart as I'm out here in Tent City, baby. We're raising the roof always. I don't care where we at. We're raising the roof for Jesus, right? The King of kings, Lord of lords, our beautiful Savior. And uh, it's, it's amazing friendship that we have to through Jesus, the Father God, um, this connection to God Almighty, and it's just magnificent. And here's the thing, guys. We got salvation. We got hope for tomorrow. There's a lot of people out here, man, that are going to the pits of hell, and and they don't have any hope. They're hopeless, and they're, never, they, they're always hopeless about tomorrow, hoping about tomorrow. But like me, I used to hope about tomorrow, but now I have hope for tomorrow because Jesus died on the cross 2,000 years ago. And thanks to Jesus pushing to the apostles, them being anointed with the Holy Spirit, they're out flowing around, telling the community in Jerusalem, um, just everywhere, to Greece, to Italy. They were just spreading the gospel like wildfire, like gossip, like they gossip around here and maybe where you live as well, man, promoting lies from hell instead of the truth of God in heaven, but we need to keep promoting the, um, promoting the kingdom of heaven. The gospel of Christ is the most important thing. Romans 1 16, never be ashamed of the gospel of Christ because when you're, when you're denying someone to tell them about Jesus, what are you going to do on judgment day when Jesus says, I sent you Miss Margaret, Mr. Jim, little Timmy, and you didn't even talk about Jesus. You didn't even talk about me, Jesus was saying, and you had a chance to save three lives. But yet, those three lies went into the pits of hell because you or me didn't speak up. How crazy is that? Think about that for one moment, man. Holy Spirit is flying through me. I don't know if you can see all those God bumps on me. The world calls them goosebumps, baby, but I ain't from this world. I'm from the kingdom of heaven. They're coming from, I'm a citizen of heaven, and they come from the Lord, man. I'm excited right now. The Holy Spirit is flowing through me, and God is asking you, what happens when you stand in front of Jesus and you had three lives to save, and you didn't save them, and they're in the pits of hell? How sad would that be? Come on now, be like people being in the burning building and you got an opportunity to say, hey, the house is on fire, get out, you're going to die, you're going to get burned. That's what we do as Christians, man. You would not deny people in a house burning, do not deny people in this world that's burning, that's going into the pits of hell if you don't tell them about Jesus Christ. we got to reach out and pull other people out of darkness into the light. And if, they, if it means them getting a little mad, walking away from you for life, right? Saying, talking about you, about you, who cares? They shouted down Jesus. They degraded Jesus. They killed Jesus for speaking the gospel. They killed the apostles for spreading the gospel. And if that's what it comes down to, that's what it comes down to because we're here to do this job. We're set in place to do this job, brothers and sisters, as believers in Jesus Christ. We live forever after this. Your last breath here <gasps> is your first breath in heaven. Hallelujah. Come on now. Fear not. It's not a request from God, but a commandment. Listen to me. For acceptance, acceptance of others, we need to stop going to people that don't need help and talking to them and reach out to those outside our circle, right? Here's our circle. Reach outside that circle and pull some people in and share the gospel of Christ. We're going to ask God for forgiveness right now, you know, and we're going to ask him to fill us with his Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit into us right now as you go off to work, to school, to the park, do yard work. You never know who you're going to see, where you are. God will always send somebody your way. I don't care if it's that one stranger walking down your road you've never seen before. That person needs to hear about Jesus, and we need to accept everyone. As we accept our family and friends, we need to be accepting of like, you know, accept everyone outside of our family and friends circle. It's easy to love them, easy to pray for them, easy to talk to them. Let's start reaching out and praying and talking and being nice to other people who aren't our family and friends. That's what we need to do. We need to reach the lost and let them be found in Jesus Christ. For others, for acceptance of others, <clears throat> dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you in Jesus' precious name. Forgive me, Father, for my unwillingness to share your gift of life with others. My eyesight is often faulty. I do not see others as you see them. I judge by my own standards and reject those who do not measure up. I've been guilty of this in the past. How about you today? My hearing is faulty too. I listen to those who can help me, but do not hear those who need me. I've been guilty of that as well. How about you? Father, you see us all through the eyes of Jesus Christ and accept us for his sake. You hear us and know that we need your forgiveness and mercy. 
Even so, Father, teach me, teach us today, Father. Invite the Holy Spirit in, your way of seeing and hearing, your people in whatever circumstance I find them in. <coughs> Give me a full measure of understanding and compassion so that my actions and words reflect the fatherly love and mercy you have given us through Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow, that is super, super powerful, man. Listen to me. We got chance and opportunity today to change this world. I mean, change it, man. It's dark. We can make it brighter. And we need to do that. And how do we do that? We call in the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, is the sun, which ain't out this morning, is the physical light of the world. We are the spiritual light. Just as that sun's so important, without that sun, how dark is it? It's dark. It's a little cloudy here, really, actually, today. But, but how dark would this world be? I think Alaska, I'm not sure, don't, don't you, know, uh, you know, Google it. Um, they, it's dark uh, through a certain period. It's dark continually. Can you imagine waking up tomorrow without sun like they do in Alaska for like so many months? People are like this spiritually. They can't see nothing in the dark when we don't have light, the sun, a light in your house. How do you think people feel spiritually when they can't see happiness, joy, peace, strength, um, and hope for tomorrow? That's got to be really bad. You ever been in the blackout? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have your way. You ever been in the blackout? It's depressing. It's hard. It's it, you get angry. No heat. No no uh, fan blowing on a hot day. No heat on the um <clears throat> on the, on a cold night when the lights go out in a snowstorm or blizzard. Right? How do you think people feel, man? They're in the cold, right? They're in the cold and bitterness of this world and we must bring them in to the light and love and warmth and that love of God and we need to share this with the world guys it's, it's just what you do it's as simple as this but listen if you're smoking I don't care what you're doing I'm just telling you what God's telling me to tell you you smoked that cigarette this morning that's a sin you drink that drink this morning that's a sin you pop that pill and eat yours from the doctor that's a sin um, you smoke that marijuana when you don't have uh, seizures and cancer that's a sin Medical marijuana has a purpose, a medical purpose. It's not for getting high and escaping life. Look, man, we got to quit running to things that are killing us and run to God who saved us. When you feel whatever you feel today, this is not even in the message, but it is now. Hallelujah. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Whatever makes you need a cigarette, go, oh, man, I need that cigarette. Huh? Whatever demon comes upon you and pushes you into a cigarette, pushes you into that blunt or bong or that joint today or that drink early in the morning, that cigarette early in the morning, stop and hold up. And say, okay, if I do this, I'm sinning against God. I want to have his Holy Spirit. I want to be him. I want to feel closeness to God. When we do these things, we sin. And we, here's God, the pen. And we distance ourselves from God when we sin. And soon we're out here on our own. And we're lost. And we're hopeless. And we're feeling heavy. Why? We're Christians. We shouldn't feel this way. It's because you're sinning. And you got to repent. Every time you repent, you come back to the Lord. He's got his hands open waiting to hug you again. Like the prodigal son who left off with his riches and then came back. God is always there as that father was in that parable. He's waiting for you. But you need to repent first. Sorry, Lord, for doing whatever you've done. It's between you and the Lord. I'm just a messenger. Stop letting the devil tell you who's this guy think he is and put your attention on me. Put it back on you and you need to repent right now. And say, sorry, Lord, now invite the Holy Spirit in. Make things right with God. And now invite the Holy Spirit in and say, Holy Spirit, have your way. Let your presence be here like I invite him here to do this video, even in this tent, to keep the demons away from me. And in case somebody walks by to give somebody to say, but I invite him in here to do these messages. I invite him in right now as I set up shop to speak through me to get these messages to you guys. I got my cross up, man, on my shoulder. I don't just wear one on my necklace. I got one on my shoulder every day. And yeah, it gets heavy some days, but then I I call him a spirit. He gives me strength to push on, to get that victory for me, for my family, for my community, for everybody that's in my life that needs a word of encouragement, hope, um, who's in fear of the next disease or this going on and the money situation and robots over here with Elon Musk and they're taking over the world. Ah! Why does Daryl have peace and calmness? Because I got the peace and calmness and courage of God flowing through me, who I invite into my life to put this fear and hopelessness, flesh to death of addiction, um, fear, um, judgmentalness, whatever, whatever, um, judging others. I put it to death and I invite the Holy Spirit in. Repent, pray, repent, ask the Holy Spirit in, guys. That's what we need to do. Make things right with God and he will make things right in your life and he will use you to make things right in other people's lives. Let's get it, y'all. Hear me? We can make a difference today. Let's make this world a brighter and better place through our words and our actions, okay? But let the Holy Spirit shine through. He is the only light in this world. Jesus is the light of the world. 
and they need to see where they're going and we need to save them from falling into the pits of hell and in the pits of addiction, uh, hopelessness and fear and anger and all this stuff that's going on in the world. Let's make a difference, not just by words, but through our actions. Peace be with you. I love you all. Let the Holy Spirit flow. Repent first, then pray, and let the Holy Spirit have his way. Hallelujah. Woo, yeah.